We just had balance changes in Clash Mania, and I'm going to be showcasing two decks that you need to try in this new meta. So let's dive into it. All right, here we go. Kicking things off, we have Wave Master to start. Now, there's two variations of this deck. I'm going to be playing the free to free to play variation, um, and then there's a A to progress variation per se. So first thing that we're going to be covering is we have ooh, let's put the swordsman onto the heel tile that's gonna be nice for us um so this variation is going to be showcasing the prince and the swordsman the other variation if you have dark prince available put that in for the uh prince if you have sailor available also then put that in for the swordsman and that's this way the the variations uh the varying factor between the two is the swordsman and the headhunter will give you the rogue buff whereas the sailor and either one of the princes will give you the rider buff so uh rider buff obviously helping the riders only um and same thing with rogues but they only help the rogues um so let's see here i don't actually know what he has he didn't play anything so i'm actually not going to play anything in the second round because yeah so he's going to be going with the princess and the uh, archer and the dagger thrower. So he's got that four ranger combo working for him. We should be able to get some pretty good value here. I think we win this round. And then what I think we can do is fisherman his archer queen. I think that's the best bet. I think we just fisherman the archer queen and just pull it away and try to take down his princess. So let's go. We'll grab that there. Let's grab the... Do I need the stun just now? Or would it be better for me to go... Let's go... Let's grab shark bait here. And I'm also going to grab the third upgrade onto the headhunter. Because we're going to be pulling his archer queen in. So we're most likely going to be taking the Archer Queen down first. So let's grab that. Yep. All right. So the invisibility goes down there. Headhunter does take the Archer Queen down. We do get some pretty decent value here. That princess with two stars is thriving and surviving. So we don't get the 3-0. Um, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. What we do need to do He's most likely... So there's this variation running around with the Archer Queen that runs Apprentice Monk. There is a strong chance he Apprentice Monk's right in front of our Fisherman. So I'm not going to be moving the Wave Master just yet because I could swap the position and then go for the third upgrade onto the Fisherman, which is just big brain play. So let's go Boast gain max energy. We're going to go with the Prince here. And let's also go for the upgrade onto the Swordsman. And there it is, the Apprentice Monk. Yep. So, was able to call that, which means we can go for a round 5 upgrade. Swordsman's going to get some pretty decent value there. Wavemaster does get the super off. We do have the Archer Queen taken down. And we actually don't even need it because we're going to walk away with the victory in this round. GG well played. Oh yeah, and let's also snag Pass Royale. Or <laughs> let's also snag the Mini Pass here. Uh, and we're going to get that Dark Goblin skin, which is sick. And we get some 10 extra gold keys. That is beautiful. And we also progress. Look at all the tiers that we have. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh boy. That is, that is just value. I actually don't. Did we upgrade 10 tier? Would it have been worth it for me to go to tier 50 and then buy the pass to get those 10 extra tiers? maybe that's something we'll have to check out for the next pass but anyway let's collect all these 390 fragments that is an insane amount of fragments 20 gold keys 15 oh my goodness we have we're just rolling in the keys let's go we have an, another skin coming through here let's grab some upgrades here oh definitely want chompy definitely want the decoy playing a lot of fishermen skin is for the fishermen sick also uh playing a good amount of swordsmen miners good now knights good I ran out of gold but i did hit collector level 165 so we're, i mean i'm gonna be holding on to these until the 
next update, which is supposed to be at the end of the month. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that info. All right, so here we go with a Skeleton King deck. Recently, Skeleton King did get a buff to that second upgrade. And without the healing tile, which obviously at the end of the day won't be active anymore, you want to go for that second upgrade onto the Skeleton King. So let's focus first. And in this matchup, honestly, maybe we do want to go with that first upgrade um, with the isolation to potentially prevent us from taking a lot of damage from this monk. So we're going to lose this first round. Um, that's pretty much a given. Uh, we're going to be able to push through. Actually, we might get some good damage here. He does have that boast. Aiken, uh, yeah, we do get the upgrade there. Or the win there because he went with that upgrade for the boast. When you actually KO the Skeleton King for the first time, it doesn't count as a boast. So we actually didn't get HP or energy back, which is really nice. So let's grab our princess here in the corner and I'm also going to go for the musketeer upgrade and we're going to start building up the royals so next thing we'll do is go for the knight take the taunt off from the take the taunt from the monk and try to get the monk to kind of just work around what we're what we're going with so he's going to be going with the prince here okay that's very interesting so we should be able to get some value here uh, yeah, we get a ton of value with that undead buff onto the monk, and we're able to take that down. And now what we'll do, we're going around three match point. We're just going to throw the apprentice monk here. So let's grab, grab the clash for the musketeer. And then let's grab our apprentice monk. And... Honestly, that should be GG, because we're going to prevent the prince from knocking us back. The monk is going to come through and try to get value onto our uh, apprentice monk, but by the time it gets there, Musketeer is going to charge up her shot and potentially knock the monk back. So let's see how this plays out. He's Oh, he's going with the hog rider. Okay. So we go with the apprentice monk onto the prince, but he busts out the hog rider. Ooh, that's interesting. All right. So next, what we're going to be doing, we got to get some value. Uh... I think we're definitely going to be going for the Isolation upgrade uh, with the SK. I think that's going to give us a little bit more value and a little bit more of an opportunity to win this match. So Let's see what we can do here, because now we don't have that Apprentice Monk to stop the Hog Rider. Um, so this is going to be a little bit tough. Let's grab our Knight. We'll grab our knight here. Then let's go with the SK first upgrade. And let's go with the musketeer two shots. So this way we can hit multiple enemies. He's going to go for the increased stun duration here. Which is fine. Uh, we'll have stun knockback. Stun the hog rider for a bit. We do have, now we have the isolation onto the monk, perfect. And yeah, that's gonna be GG well played. So definitely try these two decks and let me know if they work for you down in the comment section below.